What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So it's been about like three, four weeks since I've made a video um, because there's just been nothing that's really pushed me or provoked me or made me enthusiastic to, to uh, discuss a topic or anything like that. And it's kind of been like that all year, really. Uh, gaming conversations and discourse has been absolutely trash and just news in general, just nothing that's really made me want to turn on the mic. And that sucks because obviously I like having these, you know, conversations and like discussing certain things. And I think the last video I did um, was actually pretty much on this same topic I'm about to talk about today, which is the conversation of PlayStation and multiplayer and, you know, most recently Concord and this is going to be rambling, right? This is just going to be a rant. I probably won't be yelling and screaming, but I might. But it's just going to be rambling off my thoughts and everything like that. Um, it's not really going to focus too much on Concord itself, but the bigger picture of PlayStation multiplayer. I've had this discussion um, and made videos of this nature so many times. I'm honestly getting tired of talking about it. Um, and I didn't even want to make this video because I'm like, I feel like I'm going to have to say all this shit over again on Weapon Wheel this Sunday anyway. But anyway, um, Concord Beta came out. I played it for about an hour and I was like, yeah, this ain't it. Um, let me just say for, for those who's, who would criticize that, you, I don't need to play a multiplayer game for more than an hour to know if I like it or not. I don't. Most games in general, I don't have to play for more than an hour, hour and a half to know if to know if I like it. I've been on been on this earth almost 34 years. I've been playing video games since 1994. I know what the fuck I like and I can spot it pretty easily and very quickly. It, it's very rare where I'm where I get caught off guard and think I'm going to like a game and I don't. Or the opposite, the inverse. I know what the fuck I like. So when people tell me, oh, you know, you got, no, sh shut the fuck up. I know, I know what I like. But I don't want to spend too much time just getting into the weeds and talking about specifically everything I don't like about Concord. I mean, I can name a few things. The TTK is too high. The, uh, the, the, um, the game, the, the movement is too slow. The guns, I find them to be mostly ass, uh, you know, just the inherent, I don't want to say the inherent nature of hero shooters because there are hero shooters that I like, right? I, I, I don't, I typically don't like the ones that kind of, um, kind of limit you to limit the characters to only one weapon. There are hero, hero, some hero shooters that are flexible and allow you to use other weapons other than other than that characters. Um, and that's and, and even if they limit you to that one weapon because that's specific to that character and it's for balance and abilities, at least make the, the weapons and the guns good. To me, most of these characters, the, the guns aren't good. Um, like I said, to me, the game is just not fun. I, I played a bunch of matches. Um, I won a bunch of matches. And I felt absolutely no satisfaction. I felt no, like, I had a straight face the whole time. Getting kills, straight face. Winning rounds, straight face. Just not, you know that, that feeling of satisfaction um, that you get. And, and, and you know, that, that, that hormone that they say goes off on your brain when, the, when, the, when, uh, when a person feels satisfaction and, 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 and is feeling fun. Those endorphins or whatever they are. You know when, when you are feeling that from a quality and fun multiplayer experience. And I'm just straight faced the whole time getting kills felt nothing. The game just feels empty. It, you know, there's no, just feels no weight to the, uh, to, to the weapons. There's just no gratification from getting kills. None of that. So that's, that's really what, what I'm going to tell you about my experience with Concord and, um, so that's why I uninstalled it after an hour. Um, I said prior to this beta um, that it'll be PC gamers that decide whether this game is going to be a success or not. And I stand by that. And I think that's and I definitely think that's true. And I don't think PC gamers are going to attach to this, especially not based on this betas. 
for one reason is, and I confirm my thoughts with some other people, the playing this game on mouse and keyboard doesn't feel great, which is, and, and a lot of people said it actually feels better to play it with a controller. If you have a first person shooter and it feels better, like significantly better to play with a, a, a controller than mouse and keyboard, yeah, you're setting yourself up for fucking failure, failure among the PC community. Because I played it on PC, mouse and keyboard. I was like, this doesn't feel great. Um, and these are former, like, this, this game is a cross between Destiny, Overwatch. It's a lot of former Destiny uh, developers and everything like that. And it just is just not it for me. It's just not it. Um, and let's just do this, right? For the sake of this video... Of course, it's there's a, always a possibility that I'm going to end up being wrong about about uh, about Concord because the game is not out yet. There is a possibility that it ends up being somehow being this breakaway success in in the in the in, you know the in, in the eleventh hour at the final quarter when it finally comes out. It's sure the breadcrumbs certainly don't seem to be lining up that way, but it's a possibility. But let's let's function and 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 move. As if this game is already a failure. That's how I'm going to be talking um, in this video. Like as if it's already happened or and as if it's a conclusion, because I think that's likely what's going to happen. Um, what annoys me right about this whole multiplayer and conversation specifically with PlayStation, because, you know, I've been beating the drum for like a long fucking time since the PS4 generation started that PlayStation needs to provide mo quality multiplayer. Um, you know, if you're going to chart, it's your platform, you're the owner, you charge people for it. So you need to provide your own. That is the logic. If you are going to have a platform, you have to support it with your own multiplayer games. You can't just have, it can't just be like, oh, third party is going to do that and it's okay. No, it's yours. So you also have to do it. That has always been my logic. And I've stood and I've I've died on that that hill. I've been on that island. Right. What I hate and what really fucking annoys me is. I've been very intentional and very specific with the type of multiplayer games that I want PlayStation to make and what I think will be a success if PlayStation releases it in this current current time. Right. Been very specific. I didn't just say any type of multiplayer. I didn't I didn't just say, you know, I, I've been very specific and I've said it many times in multiple videos, multiple podcasts. So I describe what I believe would work and what I want. And then PlayStation. Creates and releases a product that is nothing what I described. Nothing what I described. In fact, it's the antithesis. It's the complete opposite of what I described. And then I have people coming to me saying, BG, why are you complaining? This is exactly what you wanted. And then I'm like, okay. Y'all clearly don't fucking listen to me. Y'all don't listen to me. If you think that Games like Foam Stars, Concord, Destruction All-Stars are the games that I've described, the multiplayer games that PlayStation, that I've described that PlayStation needs to make, then you're a dickhead and you just don't listen to nothing what I say. You just hear BG say, I want PlayStation, PlayStation to make multiplayer and that's it. That's all you've ever heard from me. You've, you've just, you tune out after that. And you go deaf, blind, dumb, all the above. Because like I said, I've been very specific in what I believe they need, they need to make. And what I think would work right now. And they have yet, yet to come out with that type of product that I've described. So when people come to me and saying, this is what I asked for, I want to slap the fuck out of you. Because you're not listening to me. And it's very annoying. Don't come to me with that bullshit. 
And I hate that people try to like hijack it, this this whole situation to prove certain to affirm and 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 confirm some of their beliefs about multiplayer when that's not the actual issue. You know, they try to say, oh, uh, you know, oh, like let like once again, acting as if Concord has are has already officially failed. They would they would say, oh, it, it failed because it's forty dollars. Oh, it failed because it's it's woke. Oh, it failed because PlayStation gamers don't want multiplayer. No. The game's not fucking good. And it doesn't follow. And I hate to be like that that armchair motherfucker who acts like he knows it all and knows what would work. But I'm sorry, at this point, I do think I'm smarter than a lot of the people who are green lighting some of these multiplayer projects. I feel like they are detached from they don't have their ear to the streets and they don't actually know what multiplayer would work right now and they are just doing they they're just making decisions based on numbers, metrics and don't actually know their gamers. I feel like I know what, what, the, what the gamers would play. I do. And until my theory gets tested and disproven, I'm going to keep fucking saying it. Until PlayStation makes, when PlayStation makes a game that I've described, a multiplayer game that I've described, and, it, and, it, and if it bombs and fails, then I might shut the fuck up. Until then... No, I'm going to keep saying exactly what I'm saying because I think it makes logical sense and it has not been disproven. If anything, what I've been saying about what I what I don't think would work, that has been proven. I feel I've been very explicit and descriptive on what I think would not work and so far none of those have worked and and it's like some people think I've been wrong about something. I'm trying to figure out what I've been wrong about. Because I feel like I've been right about everything along this, along this games as a service path. If you listen to me and, and, and go back to all the videos I've made on multiplayer, I think you, you're, you would see BG called all of this. BG said all of this. Literally laid it out how it would happen and what would work and what wouldn't work. But once again, people are going to people who don't actually know anything and are not qualified to speak are going to say, oh, it, it failed because of this. It failed because of that. Oh, they shouldn't they shouldn't do this. It's like. Because I'm trying to figure out is, is the logic is the logic for some people that. Because several things failed that it should never be attempted again because I look at it differently. I look at this situation specifically as these things have failed, so it's telling you how not to do it. The failure isn't telling you not to do it. It's telling you how not how not to do it. Not not to do it. I think those are two very different things. Right. It's it's very different. The way you're going about it and your execution is wrong. What you are doing isn't wrong. How you are doing it is wrong. And I feel when PlayStation finally realizes that if whenever they do, then things will change. And I'm going to be very clear. Bro, I don't care how many times PlayStation fails because people come back to me and be like, oh, you still want them games of service? Don't want that multiplayer? Yes, dickhead. I don't care how many times PlayStation fails at multiplayer. That isn't going to change me wanting them to create multiplayer. Because that just means they, they are still doing it wrong. So until they get it right, keep doing it. Because I don't, I, people don't apply that logic to anything else. It's like, oh, you're, It's just weird to me because I think if you apply that 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 same situation to other things, people are not going to say, oh, you 
should stop this entire entirely. People are going to say you need to make adjustments and move different and do it right next time. People will point out all the things that were done wrong and what needs to be done right for this to succeed. They don't, nobody just, I guess the saying is throw the baby out with the bathwater. No, just change certain shit. Because I always say, like, yo, I think that the, the writing is on the wall. And I see a lot of comments that, that indicate to me that a transition back to a more traditionally, a traditional, uh, conventional style of multiplayer game is wanted. People tell me, no, BG, it wouldn't work. Oh, no, those are, those are gone for a reason, yada, yada. I've heard it all. I've heard it all, right? I think the writing is on the wall that that's, it would work again, and that's what people want. And I'm not saying, and for some reason, people think that because I'm saying traditional style multiplayer, that you can't, that, that can't have a games as a service model. I don't know where that logic comes from. I don't know why people think you can't have the style of game I'm talking about and also still monetize it. This, this type of game I'm talking about just plays differently than, ga than multiplayer games now, but they are still monetized as a games as a service. Games as a service is not inherently the, the problem. That is, the model is not the problem. It is the gameplay the multiplayer gameplay design. That is the issue. That's the problem here. Like I'm talking about, like I'm talking about games, like just the games I'm talking about are essentially from the PS3 360 era. Games, multiplayer games that played like that. I'll name some because people don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. And They'd be like, oh, BG, this is the type of game you want. No, dickhead. Games like Transformer, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, that multiplayer. Multiplayer games like Dirty Bomb, Crisis, Uncharted, specifically Uncharted 2, Red Faction Guerrilla. Of course, the, the trifecta of Resistance Killzone, SOCOM, Metal Gear Online. Rainbow Six Vegas, uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Battlefield, Watch Dogs, Doom 2016, Blur. These, I'm, I'm trying to give y'all an idea of what I'm talking about because y'all don't seem to get it. And it's funny to me that people keep telling me that these Essentially, these, uh, I keep I keep forgetting which generation we're fucking in at the time. But these PS3 360 generation like multiplayer games, they keep telling me they would not work. But so far, the only PlayStation games as a service game that has been wildly successful is the game that plays like a game from that generation, is a game that plays like a 360 PS3 game, and that is Helldivers 2. For all intents and purposes, Helldivers 2 is literally a game from that generation. Gameplay-wise, aesthetic, what, whatever you want to like analyze and, 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 and quantify Helldivers 2 by, it plays like a game that fits into that generation, if you get what I mean. Helldivers 2, when you look at it, when you play it, Helldivers 2 doesn't fit this generation of multiplayer games. When you look at all the popular multiplayer games, right, how they play, Helldivers 2 doesn't fit that model. It, is, it, it doesn't fit that, it doesn't fit into that box. It's not akin to the multiplayer games that are out now. It's, it's a lot more in line than games from that generation. And that's the only multiplayer PlayStation game that has been an overwhelming success. But for some reason, people are still telling me if you make a game like that, it won't work. 
Now, granted, yes, that is PVE. And I'm more talking of this conversation is more talking about online competitive multiplayer. I get that Helldivers 2 is PVE, but I think you can look at Helldivers 2 and say, hmm, there's something about the fact that this game plays like a game from a different era and it's wildly successful. Regardless of what like the player the player count number is, it had a it had it, when it started, its player count was amazing. It sold 12 million copies. Sold 12 million copies. That says something that a game that is essentially from another era was a breakout success. So what I'm saying is, and once again, working from the premise that Concord is going to be a failure. If you can green light and take the risk of games like Destruction All-Stars, Concord, and Foam Stars, you cannot sit here and tell me that they can't, won't, or shouldn't take a chance on bringing back a game like SOCOM Killzone Resistance or one of the games I named before and they wouldn't work. You can't tell me they can't at least take the chance on those. You can't tell me that. It doesn't make fucking sense. Because those games check the marks of a game that's more likely to be successful than these games. I've said in previous videos, I've what how I've described it is if you want to, and I've said this so many times, if you want to compete with Call of Duty, and this is a theory, this is not saying literally trying, the goal is trying to compete with Call of Duty, but I've said if you want to compete with Call of Duty, the worst thing you could possibly do is try to create another Call of Duty. That's the worst fucking thing you could possibly do. You don't try to create something else like it. If you want to compete with it, not to say that never works, but typically that's not what works. You don't try to get in somebody's lane. At least not in multiplayer, I think that actually I think it actually works very much in single player games, right? If you want to create a, a, a very successful single player game, I think you copying another one actually works pretty well. If as long as you make it, you, you know, uh, give it a little bit of your own twist and and shit like that. And you do a lot of things better than that original game you're like um kind of modeling it works in single player games it does not work in multiplayer game for several different reasons time and all that stuff you know you're fighting over time it doesn't work you have to be satisfying a need that is not being satisfied so if people want to play call of duty and once again, Call of Duty is just an example I'm using right now. If people want to play Call of Duty, they're just going to play Call of Duty. So why would you go make another Call of Duty? Make something. You make something that if people want it, they can only go to fucking you. Helldivers 2 is an example of that. If you wanted to play another game like Helldivers 2, guess where you can go? fucking nowhere this is all you got like yeah there is that that other you know ba that other game based on the movie and we know hell divers 2 is is based on that that concept but that game doesn't play like it also doesn't play like hell divers 2 that's the thing and i and i think they announced another game that's very similar to hell divers 2 y'all get the point if you wanted to play this this is really your only viable quality option. With Concord, if I'm going to use that for an example, and with Overwatch, bro, if you wanted to play a game in the in the vein of Overwatch, you have different options. You have different options, and the options are still coming. That's the problem. That's the problem. 
these, they're not unique. And you're not satisfying a need that somebody else has, hasn't already satisfied. Foam Stars. Why would I play Foam Stars if I can play Splatoon? I'm a Splatoon fan. Y'all know that. Why, why would I play Foam Stars if, if I can play Splatoon? If I'm, if I'm a fan of Overwatch, which I'm not, why would I play Concord if, if I can just play Overwatch or Destiny? Because they say, you know, it's a combination of two. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can apply this logic to all of these games that I'm talking about. Why would I play this game when I can play that game? This is the same logic I've been writing out and laying out for years. You need to, to compete and to stand out in this multiplayer landscape. You have to be unique. You got to be different. You got to have a fun gameplay loop. You got to have an aesthetic and an art style, art style that doesn't look like something else. Got to have some, you know, some modes in there. And, and I spoke about this in the last video. What gave some of these multiplayer games an edge was the universe, the lore, and the laws that were created in the single player. One of the reasons why the, the, the multiplayer games from the PS3 360 era were inherently unique were because the single player games, uh, that goal was to be inherently unique. So if you create something that has its own unique laws, structures, lore, that just naturally carries over into the multiplayer. So that multiplayer is naturally going to play different from anything else because that game doesn't derive from the laws you set up in the single player, that other competing game. So they're going to be very different. So that's why during the 360 PS3 era, you had all these multiplayer games that fare well, that, that did well in their own right because they weren't copying anything. A lot of these games that are coming out now are chasing trends. And, and, and chasing trends in other industries absolutely works. It doesn't work as well in the gaming industry. The reason why it doesn't work as well in the gaming industry, especially in multiplayer, is because things change very rapidly. Hero shooters, five years ago, was the absolute bee's knees, nigga. That was the shit five years ago. And in, 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 in just a couple of years, not that a new one can't come out and be popular and can't work, but in just a couple of years, it's not like that anymore. You announce a, a, a hero shooter and you gonna hear, you can hear audible sighs. Oh, another hero. That's why you can't chase trends in the multiplayer game industry. And with movies, listen, movies take l a less time, less time to develop than games. Music takes less time to make than games. So if you're a, an, you know, if, you, if you're in the music industry, if you're in the movie industry and you see a, a specific type of movie pop off, you can make something similar to that in that time frame where it's still popular and people love it. But if you chase a trend in the gaming industry, by the time you get that shit out, it's very entirely possible that people now fucking hate it and don't want that shit and they on to the new shit. So that's why it's better to stay true to yourself and try to just be very unique in, in what you're doing and don't model after something else. Like, uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired of having this, this conversation and saying it over again and people, it going in one ear and out the other, people not retaining it. The problem with these PlayStation multiplayer games is not that PlayStation can't make a, a good one. They have, 
in their history. They have made several great multiplayers in their history. And that's another thing. I hate having conversations with these young ass, stupid ass motherfuckers who don't know shit, who first console was a was a PS3. And wanna and wanna talk to me about online multiplayer like bro. Stop. Stop. I'm not saying that PlayStation historically has been this absolute multiplayer powerhouse. That's not what I'm saying. But have they created from their first party studios respectable, enjoyable, quality multiplayers? Absolutely. And what we've seen is there's a lot of things. There's a, there were a lot of games that were ahead of their time and just came out during the wrong time period. There's a lot of games that may not have seen the success and seen the, 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 the numbers that they needed to back then that clearly need to be tested in this new landscape. And I think the results would be very impressive. And I think there's evidence to that. If you just look, there's clear evidence to that. So, I, I just, I, I, they, they got to pay the, I, I just don't, I wish I could just like be in a, make just one decision and be in a board meeting and tell them no, green like this. Because, yeah, like I said, at this point, I feel like I'm just just smarter or it's it's not even it's not even necessarily smarter. It's just more in touch. More in touch with what I think my fellow gamers want. And they're just executives. It's like it's like when the executives are you know making what they think people want, and it's just not what actually people want. They're just. Like I said, chasing trends and making decisions based on numbers and not actually it, it, it's 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 not it's not it's not like proclaiming something and what it's going going to be and telling sometimes I, I say this I say this a lot sometimes you have to tell the consumer what they want when the first like battle royale game whatever you want to give credit to technically the first battle royale game because you know there's been obviously several mods and stuff like you know h1z1 you know there was the arma you know it's arma 3 mod and whatever you want to give credit to there was no indication it's not like they had some data necessarily to pull from and say hey you know what what would, what what's going to be the next absolute craze and phenomenon you know what that's going to be? A game where we drop 100 people into a map and let them kill each other. They didn't know that was going to be an absolute fucking hit. They had to put it out there and kind of tell people what they want and the people responded. You can't just chase shit that's already been done. So I think that's what needs to be done here. So, yeah, like I said, at this point, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, beating a dead horse. I've repeated this uh, logic many times in several videos, and it's just, I want to see, because I want to see what people say, because when they keep saying, oh, PlayStation fans don't want multiplayer, competitive online multiplayer. So when one of these PlayStation studios eventually does create a popular online multiplayer because like I said they've done it before they're going to do it again don't know when but it's going to happen what is going to what are you going to say then if it's just that PlayStation just gamers don't want multiplayer then that's just an absolute statement so what are you going to say when they do put out a quality one and people love it and play it it's not that they don't want the product you haven't given them the right product. That's the problem. As I've said, it's like, it's like me saying, hey, I want a quality pizza and you giving me 
Little Caesars and saying, hey, you said you wanted pizza. Not this shit, motherfucker. And yes, Little Caesars is absolute dog shit. I'm not debating that with y'all. That shit is garbage. Y'all got to stop. I, I hate this like disingenuous conversation. Where y'all get to acting like everything. Everything is like just made made equally. Like everything is like every multiplayer game is just created equal. Like there's not there, like there's no nuance, like there's no good and bad multiplayer games. It, it's it's it doesn't make no sense. It's like, oh, well, why are you dissatisfied? You know, you wanted multiplayer. OK. So you So, yeah, I just got no common sense to think that. Like, there's no quality factor in there. When somebody says they want something, when somebody says they want something, I'm going to assume, regardless of what it is, I'm going to assume they want the quality version of that. They don't just want anything, any old dog shit. They want the quality version of that. But y'all thinking, like, anything is acceptable is what, like, infuriates me. But, like I said, I think I've, think I've, you know, divulge enough let me know what y'all think about this hit the like button um i'll catch y'all on the next video whenever that is i'm out of here peace